Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today with Mr. Pascal Protz, who is the Chief Technical Officer for LEGOS, uh, which stands uh, for the uh, Local Exchange Global Operation Services. And you're based in Paris, uh, and yep. you've come here to Durban uh, to talk about mobile virtual network operators, uh, MVNOs. I wanted to ask you, uh, perhaps you could very briefly explain what are MVNOs and what key role do MVNOs play in today's ICT landscape? Sure, uh, so MVNOs are virtual operators, as you just uh, recalled, and uh, uh, MVNOs are the, the, the tool that uh, any other, can, other operator can use to, uh, uh, to boost his uh, market. Uh, that's how the MVNO started uh, in the early days of the uh, deployment of uh, mobile infrastructure. So now it's a different story because infrastructure are deployed and MVNOs are, he are here, they're here to stay, they're here to grow. Uh, and they allow the uh, MNOs to expand, to segment their market. They allow the MNOs to, uh, to gain some agility on their markets. And starting from a pure either distribution or IT perspective, now MVNO are building their own core networks. They are building their interconnections. So they are now just leasing the radio networks, but they can play on, on every uh, parameter, every setting of the services. So that's how MVNOs can segment their market and, and get market shares and, and grow hands, hands and with the hands with the MNOs. And what are the key trends to be watching for in, in the MVNO industry? Um, today we're talking about communities. So of course we have all the, the GAFAs, the Google, Apple, Facebook, uh, Amazon and so on, which created big communities. And these communities are kind of fighting against the operators' communities or the MNO communities. When you're an MVNO, you can work with the, the GAFA communities, you can work with other communities, and because you're much more agile than the MNOs, you can have very uh, uh, specific offers uh, targeting those communities. In terms of obstacles in the market, what, uh, what do you think they might be and how might they be overcome? Um, most of the obstacles were for the MNOs uh, because they had a network and infrastructure to deploy, so they had to find some uh, lands landscape to, to put some uh, uh, towers and antennas and so on. These kind of obstacles are, are behind them. Uh, but now they have kind of old uh, IT infrastructures, so the MVNOs would bring a more up-to-date uh, and ag agile IT infrastructure, and they would, they're pro also proposing to, to the market and to their MNO partner uh, convergent services, both in terms of IT and uh, operating uh, operational services like voice and data uh, convergent service, fixed and mobile convergent service, uh, text messaging and um, um, uh, instant messaging uh, services. So all these uh, convergent services can be only marketed by MVNOs because MNOs have kind of very isolated uh, um, waterproof boxes that they've built across the uh, many years they've been operating. Talking about rigidity and flexibility, what yeah. would you like to see out of regulatory environments? Well, Legos is the first um, operator who's deploying, deploying uh, abroad uh, on a regional basis, it's uh, services both fixed and mobile. So what, what we found, not only in France, but across Europe, is some kind of regulata regulatory framework we can claim, we can travel with, and, and, and have more of a, just uh, uh, an adaptation of our model to each individual state. So that gives us a, a good uh, um, advantage to, uh, to, to quickly deploy across Europe. That's what we've done. We're just kicking off uh, Asia and now we're looking at Africa. That's why we're here in, in Durban. So we're, we're now expecting the regulatory agencies to uh, kind of have a regional framework, an African framework, an Asian framework, a LATAM framework that could be comparable to what we know how to work with in Europe, which is not a unique uh, regulation, but which is a regulation which has just some flavors in the individual states. And when we're talking about Africa, which more than 50 states, 
it's really something to start from scratch on each state. So we want to be able to have some type of countries where we could deploy this uh, infrastructure in a certain way and another one with a, a limited number of plans and way to do the business and not 50 plans, of course. Finally, what's the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World for you? I just said it. Meeting the regulatory agencies, meeting the MNOs, meeting the Ministry of Telecoms, and that's it. And that's the best, uh, best place to do it. Thank you very much indeed. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.